Welcome to this video on ultrasound diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum. Today we will explore the key sonographic features that help diagnosing placenta accreta spectrum from placenta lacunae to bladder wall signs and bridging vessels. We will walk through the most important markers to look for whether you are a student, resident, or practitioner, this guide will help you build the confidence in recognizing the subtle and sometimes life-saving signs of placenta accreta. There are several sonographic features that help diagnose placenta brevia accreta. The first feature is placenta lacunae. Placenta lacunae appear as a sonolescent, dark fluid-filled spaces within the placenta. They often give a most eaten appearance on ultrasound. These spaces are an important indicator of placenta accreta spectrum, especially when they are large, irregular, and short turbulent blood flow. Lacunae are more commonly associated with placenta accreta spectrum. The second feature is the loss of the clear zone. This clear zone refers to the erythroplacental zone which is located between the placenta and the myometrium. On ultrasound, it appears as a dark hypoechoic band or clear space. The presence of this hypoechoic zone is usually a normal finding indicating that the placenta is properly attached to the uterus and that the decidua basalis is intact. Loss of this zone may suggest abnormal placental invasion as seen in placenta accreta spectrum. The next feature is thinning or absence of the myometrium beneath the placenta. In this finding, the myometrial thickness measures less than 1 mm or becomes undetectable, and it is observed in approximately 50% of placenta accreta spectrum cases. Again, these images clearly demonstrate the normal myometrial interface in case of normal placental implantation and the absence or undetectable myometrium in case of placenta accreta spectrum. To accurately identify the ultrasound feature of placenta accreta spectrum, the urinary bladder should be adequately filled ideally with 200 to 300 ml of fluid. A full bladder helps clearly delineate the lower uterine segment to locate the site of previous caesarean scar and assess the position of the placenta in relation to it. Additionally, if the bladder is empty, it is difficult to evaluate placenta accreta spectrum markers such as bladder wall interruption, placental bulk, utrovesical hypervascularity. So proper bladder filling is therefore essential for optimal placenta accreta spectrum assessment. Regarding the bladder sign, here we can observe interruption of bladder wall. We can see an irregularity in the normal hyperequic line. And in these images, we can clearly see the loss of normal smooth white hyperequic line of bladder wall interface. In this image, we can see another feature of, of accretum, which is abnormal bulk of placenta extending toward the bladder. In contrast to the normal smooth hyperequic line typically seen with normal placental implantation. Because of abnormal and angiogenesis that occurs in placenta accretum spectrum, color doubler may reveal utrovesical hypervascularity which represents unusually high blood flow between the uterus and the bladder. Another important feature is the presence of bridging vessels. These are abnormal blood vessels running from the, from the placenta across the myometrium and serosa toward the bladder, often oriented perpendicularly to the myometrium. By this, we arrive to the end. And if you have any comments, or question, feel free to leave them below. If you found this video helpful, please support us by subscribing to this channel, liking the video and sharing it with others. Thank you for watching.